So I'm bailing, I'm going to the car. That's that. I'll go back in the morning and carry on, assess the damage. Welcome everyone to another Sea West Camping Adventure. It's about to come down so I'm going to get the tarp set up first thing as usual. Very humid, it's 24 degrees here, summer in New Zealand at the moment. So it's really hot and muggy and humid. Humidity levels 99%. So very stuffy walking in with the 20 kilo pack on, 21 kilo today.
All right, everyone. So today I'll be using my new One Tigress Backwards Bungalow 2.0. I've already got the One Tigress tarp up. You would have seen that on the last trip. Held up really well. I need to do some adjustment, but just for now I'm just going to get the shelter set up because it might take some time. It's my first time putting it up. So yeah, we'll get cracking. Right, so this tent uses hiking poles, but I've just got a stick here, which I've snapped to length, and then it'll just peg down there. It'd be a lot easier if I had proper hiking poles. It'll be up already. Having to find the stick and cut it and everything, that's easy enough here. Takes a bit of time. Okay. Zip on this. Here we go.
perfect. I just need a pig. It's actually quite a cool feature having these little bits that come out. First time in the new one tigress tent. Let roll up, oh, awesome. It's a big a big door to roll up though. side of the time. Still got to string the back up. Uh, this will pull out. That will give me a bit more extra room. Oh! Far out! What a cool setup. I love the colour. Everything's natural. It's called coyote brown. This colour. This is going to be roomy enough. I actually thought it might have been a bit too small, but I've got heaps of leg room. Still got room to go. All the backs tied out. It's a really nice tent. It is so hot. I'm sweating. Going to get all the bedding done, air mattress, sleeping bag, get my pack in there and then set up my chair and table. Then we'll go for a wander, have a look down at the ponds. Using my lightweight setup again, got the Bushbuck Cumulus Light air mattress, and I have the Nature Hike 
Snowbird 2 sleeping bag, rated at 2 degrees. There's a duck down bag as well. This is such a cool setup, man. A little bit of work setting it up, but if I had trekking poles, it would be a lot easier. I must say I did enjoy sourcing the sticks for the uprights. It was fun. Fortunately, there's plenty of water around here. I'm gonna set up my chair. Have a drink and then um, might go for a bit of a wander. There's some big uh, ponds you would have seen in my last video. Some big ponds down here behind me, so... Let's go have a look at those. It is raining. It's just sort of a drizzle at the moment, so... Not too bad. Beverage. Tonight's beverage, I got two of these Garage Project breweries. This one's called Happy Days. Had it on my channel before, my previous camps. One of my favourites. Leave that over there for later. Probably be shaken up now. Oh. Oh, I'm pretty happy with the setup. I'll show you it from the outside now so you can get a better perspective of it. Go. It's the backwards bungalow 2.0 from One Tigris. Okay, so I've got the One Tigris 3 by 4 meter tarp. This little shelter is awesome. Got a big fly screen in there, I got that rolled up. It's got this big tarp window that actually provides quite a bit of cover out the front of it, but not enough for my chair and my cooker, unfortunately, but it's all good. That's what the tarp's for. And got it strung out at the back against this tree here. Just opens it up. Bottom bits have pegs as well to flare it out. It's a really good setup. And just for the front, I just found some sticks. 
and um, yeah, pretty basic. You can see what's happening there. But a very cool setup. Excited to see how it performs in the rain later. I've got the back of the shelter tent exposed, so it'll be interesting. Awesome, I can fit underneath this. Awesome. Oh, what a great setup. As you might be able to hear, it's just spitting, sort of drizzling rain, but pretty consistent. I'm gonna put my rain jacket on, go for a walk down to the ponds, get some shots of the uh, rain hitting the water and see if we can see any frogs or anything. Normally quite a lot of them down there. This water is off the tarp as well. Tastes alright. Tarp's already had rain on it, so it's washed off any products from the factory. Mm. Saves me bringing water in though. Very cool. I haven't quite worked out yet whether I, when it's time for me to crash out later, whether I lay the bug screen down and just leave it at that. The other option is to just pop the pegs and lay these stick uprights down and that'll close this window over. Might be the best option just in case there's a bit of wind with the rain in the night. It's meant to get pretty windy. 30, 35 knots or something. I better show you what's for dinner actually, shouldn't I? Something I haven't tried before. Real simple dinner. This. The box is a bit damaged, but you'll get the picture. From Hellers, a New Zealand company, meatballs and sauce. All I gotta do is heat that up, and that's it. Heat it up in my pot. Tonight I'll be using my alcohol stove, my favourite little stove. And yeah, that's on the menu, along with the uh, Garage Project Breweries Happy Days drink. I'm going to put a new battery in the camera, put the batteries on charge and uh, we'll go for a walk down to the pond, what do you reckon? See if I can get some nice shots of the rain hitting the water, or any animal activity down there. And we'll come back and get dinner going I think. Oh, there's a deer. There's a deer down there. See that deer down the bottom? He's just crossing over now. He's running down the track. Here he goes.
Camping in the rain, everyone. It's not very heavy at the minute, but uh, it should increase. It's starting to pull. I've just made some adjustments to the tarp. Hopefully it will stop it. And they just went down to the pond. I saw the deer again. It was down the bush. I heard some noises, so I went down in. Sure enough, he bolted out through the other paddocks. And we've got some nice shots of the pond down there as well. Nice shots of the rain hitting the water. Saw some swans down there as well, some babies. Lots of wildlife in this area. Good. I'm going to have to fill this up again off the tarp. clean, sterilise the pan, but it'll only have bits of dirt and stuff in it anyway, not that bad. Alright. <laughs> this box is destroyed. Anyway, meatballs and sauce, all i got to do is heat them. 
them up nice and easy. 400 grams, so yeah, it's a decent meal. And it just comes in this um, packet. So yeah, nice and simple, heat and eat. And you're probably saying, oh, you should be cooking it from scratch. I know. Maybe I should, but I've um, had this in the freezer for about two weeks, so I needed to cook it. There's deer. Deer just running in and out of the bush. If anybody's wondering what I do with my rubbish, I always bring a rubbish bag. I take out everything with me and I never leave a trace. So, no rubbish comments, please. There we go. Nice and easy dinner. It's nice and cold. Just keep leaving that out in the rain. It'll get a nice chill on it. Right, it's just about done. Let it sizzle for another minute. Ooh. Okay, dinner is served. Oh, we can't forget our beverage. Look at that handy. Happy days, everyone. It's nice and cold as well. Alright, cheers everyone. Meatballs and sauce, pretty basic, but gonna be a yummy dinner. Mmm.
pop, but good. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'm going to dedicate this beer. You know who you are. Letting me use this private property. Thank you heaps. And also thank you for the fuel for the stove. I ran out of um, methylated spirits. And uh, someone helped me out. So thank you very much guys. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers everyone. Mm. These meatballs taste exactly like uh, the meatballs you get in a Subway sub, like a uh, bread roll. They taste exactly the same. I wonder if there's their New Zealand supplier. Mmm. Oh, they're good. Can't beat it. <clears throat> great food. Well, I wouldn't call it great, but nice. Rain. Nature. Animals. You can't beat being outside in the outdoors. These deer are just playing games with each other, I think. They're just running in and out of the trees. They have seen me, but I don't seem too worried. Looks like a different bunch from earlier. They look a lot smaller. Here's the meatballs. Check that out. Mmm. So I'm very happy with the one tigress tarp. I had it out last week and it's probably been set up for about three, four hours now. Consistent rain. If it was gonna leak, it would have by now. I will have a closer look at the seams, but it appears to be pretty good. I think the Chinese companies are hit or miss on quality. Sometimes stuff is just absolute crap and then most of it is pretty good. Well actually most of it's probably crap and some of it's good. It's probably a better way to put it. I'm sure Tony would agree with me. Tony from AB Camping. We're always discussing Camping gear and Chinese camping gear from different companies. He's a Hilleberg man. He's got his, uh, I'm not sure where they're made. Norway, Sweden, somewhere that way. Someone correct me where Hilleberg is made. Yeah, Tony's a Hilleberg man. He does have some. 
he actually just got a north face I forget what it was called Stormbreaker maybe I think it was a catastrophe he took it out for an overnighter in rain yeah I don't I think there was a few flaws on it the zips you get flaws with the zips on the nature hike tents as well unfortunately they catch so you're trying to zip it up and it catches and you know if you're not holding it but the trouble with us youtubers we never have another spare hand we're always holding a camera or doing something this is a good ale happy days from garage project you would have seen this before on my channel Man, those deer are going crazy down there this is I think it says 4.8 percent so pretty weak I've got another one down down the cliff there in the rain somewhat cool just from sitting in the rain yeah so they're wild up here where I am these deer probably quite a huge number of them considering I'm in one small area I'm not bothered by them they're scared of me they're not gonna they may come up close and have a sniff have a look but they'll be spooked once I make a noise or move Yeah, it's starting to get dark now. We're going to be running out of light. I'd say over the next half an hour it's going to be pretty dark. All the deer have buggered off. I've watching them go across the ponds, across the grassy bits, over to the other foothills. So they're going home for the night. I've got the place to myself. Hopefully the possums aren't loud like they were last time I camped here. They racked up about 3, 4 a.m. and they were all standing outside here sniffing around I put my torch on them and I had to get out of the tent and actually chase them off for them to bugger off but um yeah not really worried if they do either right. windy very windy I am a little worried about this tarp, how I'm going to leave it, because the winds are meant to climb up by the time I'll be in bed. So I might drop it down a bit, just so it's the same height as this off the tent, just so it doesn't catch the wind as much, because I don't want to get any tears or rips in it. It's brand new. But it's the kind of weather that'll do that. Ah yes, one more thing I wanted to say. If you're here from 
AB Camping, AB Outdoors, Tony and Bruce, welcome along. Welcome to Sea West Camping. So Tony's given me a few shout outs in the past, but nothing topped that one in his recent vid. So thank you very much, Tony, AB Camping, for that. Hope you enjoy my channel, everyone, if you've come from his channel. I pretty much do the same thing as him. Can't be in the rain. Yep, we're mad. Storm chasers. Yep. But there's something about the rain we all love, isn't there? In beautiful New Zealand. And I must say, I think I enjoy it more than the dense bush I'm used to. More configurations with tarps. Having the trees spaced out like this in the dense bush I'm used to. It's very skinny little weedy type trees and ferns. You know, it's not ideal for tying things off to and hanging hammocks. Hanging hammocks, all that kind of carry on, so I'll definitely be back. There's an awesome spot. Someone asked me the other day, they commented, how do I find my camping spots? A lot of the time, I sit on Google Maps. Um, if it's an area I'm familiar with, I go over the top topographical, try and check out for clearings and things like that. But in reality, you really have... Oh, that's a big gust. In reality, you have to get out there, get your hands dirty, you can get in the bush and find the spots, it's the only way. It's so like this one here. I scouted all over this farm with a mate of mine and walked past it, I knew straight away this was the spot. Nice and flat. It's one of the only flat spots around here in this environment anyway. There was another area down the Redwoods, but it was quite swampy. And in this kind of rain, I could risk getting flooded out or yeah, didn't want to risk that, but um, this is an awesome spot. Jeez, this wind is really picking up. Anyway, I'll come back with you soon. It'll be a little bit darker when you next see me. I'm going to adjust the tarp, get my bedding ready, and... Wow, it's strong. We'll see you soon. Well, it's pretty dark now. The camera's probably picking it up a bit brighter, but it's actually it's actually quite dark. So I'm just getting getting all my lightning ready. All my lighting, sorry, not lightning. Before it gets dark, before I can't find anything. wind is crazy. I hope it doesn't go on all night. It's meant to go, it reckons, till probably about midnight or just after. About 20 knots, so it has dropped down, but yeah, it's going to be noisy. I've actually got a couple of documentaries to watch. I saved them to my phone at home. That way when I don't have data or reception, I can watch things, keep myself entertained. Well, as you can see, it's a little bit darker now. And there is some huge wind gusts coming through. Every now and then it just gets stronger and stronger. Oh. Oh. Bit of rain with it. Man, it's wild. I won't be staying up too much longer out here in this. The rain is just coming straight through and under. There's so much wind. 30, 35 knots. Too much for my liking. 
I just want to make a massive shout out to all my subscribers, everyone who comments, everyone who likes my videos. I appreciate it so much. It what it's what drives me to come and do this again. Push the limits, come out here in the rain, the wind, solo trips. I love it and thank you all for being a part of it. Big pines are just going like this. <laughs> Crazy. All the deers are, deer are going to be. All the deer must be hunkered down hiding somewhere, surely. This sort of noise in the bush must just spook them. Gotta love it. Hunkering down in the wild weather, rain and wind. Is the camera just like that? Tarp had gone. Is that all right? Put that up there. See what I mean? It's how wild the weather is. So. I think I am gonna jump in the tent any minute. Crazy. Poor camera got knocked over then. That's how strong the wind was. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to jump in the tent. I'll be up for a while. If it does start to rain, I'm going to come out and start filming some shots of the rain in the dark and the new tarp and everything. Otherwise, I'm just going to get out of this crap not ideal all right we'll see you all soon oh, crazy 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 Zip this up. Yeah. Do the same with the other side. And I've got a fully enclosed system. Alright, everyone, we'll see you in the tent. Alright everyone, not sure if you can hear me well, just had a catastrophic failure out there. Basically what happened, a huge gust came through, I'm in the tent right now by the way, a huge gust came through and it must have tore, I haven't even looked, I just had to get in the tent because there was no shelter. Um, I think it tore the paracord that was on the pines opposite. Anyway, the whole thing broke and it came flapping over the top of the tent. Took out the camera. I haven't even checked the camera yet. And uh, yeah, there's no way I can set it up in this weather, so I've had to resort to come into the tent. So, a bit of a disaster there. But um, that's just the way it is, camping in this kind of stuff. But uh, hopefully... We'll be able to see the aftermath in the morning and hopefully 
not too much damage on the tarp if any hopefully just the paracords broke I chucked some big sticks on top of the tarp to stop it from um, flying around it's on the ground I curled it up yeah pretty eventful that wind gust was just crazy I'm pretty sure I caught it on camera the camera falling over but um, yeah listen to it anyway I got no choice but to just hunker down in here I'm gonna watch my documentary and I may get up soon quite a bit of rain just came through before seem to have calmed down now anyway if I don't see you soon I'll see you all on the morning hopefully not too much damage cheers everyone Well, that was a bit of a, a bit of a fail everyone. Alright, I need to be able to see where I'm going. In case you're wondering, I'm having to bail. Um, there's too much large sticks and stuff breaking off and falling. And it's not worth risking my life or at least injury staying in the tent because the tent's got no poles as well so it's really weak so I'm bailing I'm going to the car that's that I'll go back in the morning and carry on assess the damage yeah a bit of a shame but that's it's real life camping in extreme weather so yeah anyway I'll see you at the car everyone I'm in the car man that was wild walking through the it was a hell of a I was running most of it so I put all my essentials my camera gear electronics into my uh, hiking pack and left everything else so I got my sleeping bag I can sit in the I might even sit in the passenger seat and move some stuff and lay the seat back but uh, that'll have to do Oh man, the adrenaline's up. Yeah, so I don't know what happened. Um, just a big gust, and I'm pretty sure the paracords just tore. But um, I'll have to have a look in the morning. It's the first time I've ever had to bail while wild camping. So yeah. But anyway, I'll get back there in the morning, and hopefully we can carry on. Cook breakfast, bacon, eggs, and everything as planned. It is meant to die off around 4 or 5 a.m., but I can't stay there in that crap. Not for that long. Anyway, we will see you in the morning. Cheers, everyone. Good morning, everyone. That was a rough night. Sleeping in the car was even worse, I think. But, um, made it through the night. Now I've got to go check on the tent and tarp. Not sure what it's going to look like. Anyway, better get going. Make our way down. See what I mean? Look at all this. All this stuff snapped off. It's all fallen. So much debris overnight. This wasn't like this yesterday. Almost there. By the way, I'm filming with my phone. 
if it uh, looks a bit different. Oh wow, here we are. The tent is still standing. And man, I hope the tarp ain't ripped. It's literally brand new. Yes, bit of debris here and there. So when I left I put the sticks on top of the tarp to stop it moving around but it's done a bit of flapping. There's a branch there come down. The tent looks okay somewhat. Still standing, it's just the tarp. See, this is just broken or undone. Oh yes, yeah, so it's broken. Torn away at the end, there's still a bit around the tree there. This one I heard ping off. Yeah, check this one out. It's all bungeed out. There's the other piece of it on the tree. Okay. Oh well. Well, it might look ugly, but mostly I think it's just paracord breaks. And there was no way I could repair it in that conditions last night. 70k winds. It's still a little bit windy now, but not so bad. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pull the whole tarp down and straighten up the tent. And then I'll just carry on from there, because the rain's cleared. It's pretty blue up there now. And uh, get breakfast going. I'm so sore, I'm so tired, and I'm hungry. Yeah, it's camping, camping in the weather, this is what can happen. Tarp appears to be okay. Right.
where did I put my stick? There we go. Get this. That is dirty as hell. I'll need to wash that. Plastic bottle. Okay. Oh, what a crazy night. So that's the first time. I've ever had to bail from a camp. 70 kilometer hour winds. Okay. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. It probably would have been all right if I just hunkered down, but I was more worried, as I said earlier, about stuff falling like a big branch, something that would kill me or injure me, so yeah, glad I didn't stay around. Wow, that sun is so bright. Here we go. Alright everyone, just waiting for the uh, frying pan to heat up a bit, taking its time. Got some honey cured bacon here and some eggs as well, so pretty basic breakfast. I am so hungry, I cannot wait to get that food into me. So I've been wet for the last maybe 8 hours socks, feet, everything, but I've pushed through. Fortunately, the tent survived that crazy wind. Pretty happy about that. I did peg it out pretty well though. All right, let's get this bacon in. bit of bacon. I think I will 
purchase some uh, hiking poles just to make it a bit more sturdy on that end. I can always use sticks out here, that's easy enough to source. Just need to work out how to try to get the sag out of this. It's all about adjustment. Lots of little tinkering adjustments when you set it up. Such an idiot. Didn't bring tongs. Snap my wooden spoon this morning. God, I can't even speak. I'm tired, everyone. That was a long night. Grab this. Ow. Oh my god, it's raining. We have rain. Got a slight shower coming over just now, and I haven't got the tarp up, but fortunately this backwards bungalow has enough shelter here for me. Just about ready to crack the first egg, this bacon's nearly done. See if I can crack an egg properly this time. I was actually thinking of doing a curry. I'll just have to figure out a good recipe, but I think it's definitely doable. Butter chicken, my favorite. I think maybe I'll try that on the next camp, eh? Butter chicken, yum. And I might try some pancakes next time for breakfast as well. I usually make them at home with the um, in New Zealand we have a, it's just a bottle with the mix, pancake mix, you add water, add a bit of water, shake it up, that's it, straight in the frying pan, flying pan, straight in the frying pan, yeah maybe I'll do that next time, young guy I watch, uh, backcountry, Kiwi, Zeb, he um, he mixes up his own mix, he makes these things called a bannock, which is like a bread, bread flour type thing, actually really tasty, he, um, he made me one one day when we were doing a camp, but um, he's made pancake mix from scratch as well, so maybe I could do that, get a bit more creative. Gone out, yep, that's gone out. Oh, everything's done now. Mm.
Mmm. I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to take you all for a little walk. A little walk to a place with a view. And then I'll head back, start picking up. Just kidding. Check out this view. I didn't go to the pond everyone because my batteries went flat so I thought I'd better charge them up enough to film all the pack down so that's what I'm going to do right now start packing up it's been a great night despite the uh, bailout I still had a great time this tent's been awesome I'll put a link in the description of the tent where you can get it and what it is and all the specs, stuff like that. Great tent, but next time I will have some hiking poles to use as the uprights, just so they're a bit more sturdy. Alright. I really like this uh, bug screen door that folds right up. It's a great design as well.
the sleeping pad's been pretty good. It's from Bushback, which is a New Zealand company. I've got quite a bit of their gear, my raincoat, my uh, hiking pack. It's all Bushback gear, not sponsored or anything. It's really good gear, designed for hunting, but uh, yeah, it's along the same lines as that, the whole camping thing. Okay, here's our mat. Now we can start on the tent. I'm just going to stuff the uh, tent because it's only going to come out straight away when I get home anyway. So. Right. It's our backwards bungalow all packed up. It can go on my pack. Wow, what's that spider? Getting hot.
take home some pine needles to remind me of this trip. Just kidding, I'm not that crazy. Right. Woo. All right, everyone, this wraps up this adventure. It was a wild one. My first ever bailout from a camp. But uh, not much too damage in the end, just a few broken paracord. I'll have to get some better paracord, I think. That AliExpress stuff isn't, uh, isn't cutting it, I think. All right, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing, that would mean a lot enjoy rain camping and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure and no doubt we'll be chasing the wild weather and the wet rain we'll see you then cheers everyone <laughs>